Okay, hello and welcome. Uh, in this next clip, um, I'm, I'm, using, I'm using an induction with Sarah this time round. Uh, this is only the second time that Sarah's ever experienced hypnosis. Um, um, the, the previous time was in, in our previous clip. Um, this time round, sometimes in my therapy rooms, I like to, to vary stuff up with inductions. I like them to be interesting and unusual and have some kind of active ingredient. Often in hypnotherapy, people just kind of sit there and sort of start dribbling and gazing off in the distance and uh, start falling asleep or something like that. So I think it's nice to have a good active. And uh, also I get to use a prop with this one, a good old Royal Mail postal rubber band, uh, elastic band that we use as far as the induction is concerned. And then the real basic and classic phenomena of arm catalepsy. Um, uh, whereby her arm becomes rigid and she's unable to bend it. And so, again, something that is very useful to do as a convincer in a therapy session, as a precursor to something, or even as a deepener, and both processes themselves could actually be deepeners or inductions, very useful when you're about to begin a therapy session. Enjoy. Yeah, great. So, what we're going to do this time around, um, um, you'll notice that I have this new piece of expensive jewellery here. And so what I'm going to ask you to do in a moment, I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to demonstrate with this elastic band. I'm just going to hold it in my hand, and you'll notice that when you hold it out tight, ideally it won't ping off and flick either of us in the eye. And when you hold it nice and tight, it becomes a little bit of a strain to hold it in that position. And then all I would like you to do is start to notice how, when you just let, let yourself go a little bit, how easy it is for the elastic band is to pull your hand in. So just, just get a little sense of that. Um, ideally, using your right hand as your main hand. Um, you have much better looking hands than I have, by the way. That's it. Give it a little bit of a practice, though. Notice that, um, um, how it is. If you really space them out, and then just let it pull them in for just a moment, just so that you've got some reference. And you can feel that, you get a sense of that, yeah? Great. Great, that's it. Good. Let it bring them in. Now I'll take that off you. It looks even more out of place on you than it does on me. So, if you can just have your feet nice and comfortable flat on the floor. And then this time round, what I'd like you to do, just get yourself nice and comfortable, and then with your right hand, just lift your right hand up, off your lap a little bit, and then just pick a point on, the, on your right hand. Pick a point just to stare at and focus and concentrate all your attention on your right hand. Now, just for a couple of moments, space it out. Spread it out, almost like it becomes a slight strain just to spread your arm, your, your, your hand out there for a moment. Pick a spot on it. Then, take a slightly deeper breath. As you exhale, just allow your eyes to be closed, but imagine you can still see your hand, you can still see your hand sprayed out there, okay? Good. Now imagine that you're still focusing on that spot and imagine the elastic band is there. Just imagine the elastic band is there, it's tight, it's around your fingers. Then start to imagine the sensation when you just lessened the muscles in your hand and they started to draw inwards. And start to imagine that your fingers are drawing inwards really comfortably and naturally now, really easily. Start to imagine them drawing inwards. And the more you imagine them drawing inwards, the more they actually begin to do. And the more they begin to draw in, the more your mind begins to reach deeper inside of that place. Inside of that place where you go deeper and deeper down now. After a while, it might almost feel like you're drawing your fingers in, like you're bringing them in comfortably, naturally, and so you go deeper inside of your mind. And all the time that it takes for those fingers to begin to draw themselves in, is all the time that it takes for you to begin to start reaching and focusing and engaging even more inside of your mind. That's it. That's really good. Doing wonderfully well. So that when we're ready, you start to notice, start to imagine that in a short while that's it, good. One of those fingers is going to touch another one. And as soon as one of the fingers touches another one, as they draw in closer and comfortably closer, start to notice in your mind, maybe you can imagine and start to notice how they're not moving in a conscious fashion. It's like you've got a deeper level of being where your mind is kind of moving them in in this almost jerky-like fashion. As soon as you notice any of those two fingers just 
touching each other, or even slightly, just let your hand drop into your lap comfortably and easily, just to let me know, so you can begin to notice that happening. That's it, really good. Excellent, and so you reach deeper, and comfortably deeper, way down inside of your mind. And only do this in the way that is right for you. Notice what you notice. That's it, good. Really good. And you can just allow that hand to comfortably drift into your lap whenever you're ready. That's it, great. Good. That's it. Notice how that happens. Be interested in that experience. That's it. Good. Now just begin to get a sense of yourself. Get a sense of how that felt. What that was like. And as you reach deeper inside of your mind now, I'm just going to ask you to open your eyes. Just become aware of me over here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this arm. Can you just form a fist? Let me just take it and just begin to form a fist. And just focus on the sensations in and around this fist. Hold it quite strong. And as you hold it strong, start to imagine those sensations of strength and power. Start to begin to work their way all down through your arm. So that on my first count of three, imagine your entire arm feels and behaves as if it is a steel bar. Stiff and rigid, comfortable, safe, powerful, strong. One, two, three. On my second count of three, start to imagine perhaps that it's made of concrete, it's powerful, and you imagine a power being driven from up here all the way down, through your arm in one, two, three. Stiff and rigid, comfortable, safe, powerful, strong. Now when you are sure that if you attempted to bend this arm, it would just remain here, it would just stay in this powerful, strong position, like it's a block, like it's a strong steel bar. Then go ahead and have a try. Try and bend it and find that you can't. And the more you try, the more you realize you can't. Until you start to think, I won't even bother, I'll just let it be strong, powerful. Are you trying? Have you noticed that? That even if you attempted to bend, it just sticks and it's strong and powerful and locked in position. What's that feel like? Strong. Strong, yeah, yeah, yeah. And allow more of that strong just to build and powerfully work its way through your arm, that's it, good. And the more you try and bend it, the more it stays in that comfortable position. Now, I'm just going to take this once again and just start to loosen it, and you can just start to imagine letting go, letting all the muscles become loose, limp, dormant, just let it float all the way down, back, just allow your fingers to become, and just put it back down in your lap now. Slightly deeper breath, as you exhale, just allow your eyes to be comfortably closed again. And then inside of your mind, I'd just like to thank you. And you thank yourself. You know, it's a lovely thing to do to, to invest some time in your own imagination, your own well-being. And as a result of, of this experience, you're beginning to learn even more about the power of your own mind and what you're capable of. And I'm just going to count from one to five just to bring this part of this exercise to an end. Coming up and out now, really notice the difference in one, two, three, four and five. Eyes open on five. Great. Thank you very much. Okay.